So we've got one more menu to go down here in our footer. And why don't we take a look at that? So it appears our footer menu is set up with a P tag and some A tags um, listed in line with a separator between each of them. If we were to copy the same PHP block from our header and paste it down here, we could remove this part, this part, and that part. Change this to footer menu. Let's save that and take a look. We'd have a standard unordered list wrapped with a div. Now what I would like to do is have a menu set up to look just like this here. And to do that, there's a few ways. I could create a custom class. Not sure if you noticed it or not. But in our WP nav menu template, there's a argument for a walker. So if we wanted to, we could create a custom walker for the footer navigation. However, I don't feel like that's actually necessary. All we want to do is present our links in the same way that we have here in our design. A custom walker class, I think, in this case, would be uh, a little bit of overkill because we're not adding any functionality to the menu. So what we can do is we can apply some CSS and create this same look. Now before I delete this, I'm going to cut this line out, the link after argument, and all of this as well. And after each link, I'll add this pipe. And I'll also add a span class. I'll call it class equals I'll go with something easy, divider. And I'll save that. Come back here. And we're getting close. All we need to do now is use some CSS to uh, lowercase all of these letters and then display the list inline. Our ID is menu dash footer menu. So I'll just do that, copy that, and come over to my main style sheet. I'll just scroll down to the bottom. I'll just apply some CSS. List style none. And then for the list item, I'll display it in line. Finally, we want our links to be all lowercase. Actually, how about I do that? We use text transform, lowercase. Uh, give it a refresh, but a hard refresh. And just like that, we have something fairly close to our original design. Let's go ahead and copy the path or the selector. And we'll hide the last divider. Menu item-22. Actually, I think I'd rather do it this way. Go with last child dot divider display none. Okay, so that goes away. Finally, I can just remove the hard coded menu. I'll save that. And there we have it.
if I want it to be really anal about the spacing between this divider, I could apply some more CSS for margin and padding. But I won't do that. I think this is close enough. So that's it for our navigation menus. I think we're at a pretty good stopping point. I'll go ahead and take a break. And when I get back, what we'll do is we'll focus on some items like the portfolio logo area here and also this footer caption and more general WordPress functions such as the browser title and the site description. Thanks for watching.